to tell people who are afraid for real reasons, not out of racism, but afraid because we just saw what happened in Paris and we see what's happening in Syria every day, to tell people that is not a legitimate feeling. If you feel that way, you're a racist and you drive them out of the political conversation, you're pushing them into more fringe or extreme places. Have those people at the table deal with their concerns. Don't push them out. And, and I keep saying, you tell someone often enough that they are a racist, they are a homophobe, they are these things. Well, what happens if one day they actually believe you and say, all right, fine, then I'm a racist. Yeah, they, it, it's yeah. dangerous to, and you're profaning the word racist because we should keep that word like a sharp knife that is rarely used. If someone is really racist, fine, call them that. But if you call anyone who disagrees with you a racist, when we actually encounter a racist, the word means nothing. Yeah, and I think that was one of the concerns of Uthul Assange, who has experienced racism. He's yes. a Sikh man. Yeah. And, and I also find it, for example, in my own um, uh, work with the, the black community in Toronto, I find that, 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 that working middle class black people are very careful about using the word racism yeah. because they know it's power. Yeah. The people who most often use it, white liberal That's academics. True.